All right, here's how you solve the third problem of this handout. Our third problem says that in humans, tongue rollers are dominant to non-tongue rollers. Ooh, that's hard to say. A homozygous recessive female crosses with a heterozygous male. What are the chances they will have a child who can roll their tongue? Again, you guys know the drill. We're going to start off by writing our alleles. Um, a capital T is someone who can roll their tongue. All right. And then we have a lowercase t. That's non-tongue rollers. I am struggling to write on this lap laptop here. So I'm just going to write non-t for non-tongue rollers. All right. Now we're going to make our genotypes. Big T and big T. Big T, little t, little t, and little t, okay? The phenotype for big T, big T is tongue rollers. Same for big T, little t. Because the big T is dominant, and then little t, little t, it's non-tongue rollers. All right, and my terms for two big T's together is heterodom. I'm just going to write an HD for that for short. Big T, little t is going to be hetero. Ooh, look at my sloppy handwriting. Hetero. And then little t, little t is homo recessive. All right, you guys know the drill. For parents' genotypes, we need to go back up and reread our problem. It says, in humans, tongue rollers are dominant to non-tongue rollers. And I'm seeing some key terms here, like a homozygous recessive female and, and then I'm seeing that it, she crosses with a heterozygous male, right? Those are some key terms here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these key terms, use the information on my chart to fill in my parents' genotypes, right? So I see a homozygous recessive female. When I come to my chart, I see that's two little t's. So that's what I'm going to write for my first set of parent genotypes. Then I also see the heterozygous male. In my chart, I see that that's a big T and a little t, okay? All right, that's, that's it for steps uh, one through three for this problem.